Hello, my name is Christine. I am from 1065. I am currently doing my silver project on mental stimulation for animals. So I'm just going to start off with animals are basically just like humans. They have daily needs and they need to do activities to stimulate themselves to remain healthy. Um, pets are typically kept in small little confined spaces called a kennel in animal shelters, things like that. And so it's like being stuck in your room, a very small room with only your bed and nothing in there. And then also to add on to it, pets are typically only let out for a couple hours each day. So imagine being in your room, stuck there, and only allowed to leave for a couple hours each day. Keep in mind you have no phone, no toys, no nothing. And that's essentially what uh, depends on to give them um, access to toys and fun, cool things to do. You are the person that helps mentally stimulate them. Um, if you do not give them toys, they will quickly let you know by destroying your furniture. Um, biting everything and they can get pretty destructive or they can become depressed or both can happen Your pet you can also teach them new tricks. Um, you could also give them new toys. Of course you have to uh, Occasionally switch them out which I'll talk about a little bit more later um, You can also run errands with them, which is another interesting thing. Some stores will allow you to bring your pets in such as you know, of course PetSmart and things like that and you can introduce them to new faces, such as dogs, uh, dogs to another dog, or a dog to your to another human. And some of most of them will get really excited on seeing this new person, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, new human!" Um, but some do ha are a little shy, so make sure that your dog is comfortable with that. So you would in have to introduce them slowly. Um, you also need to occasionally rotate your toys. So let's go into a little bit of your dog's exercise, the exercise that your dog needs. So essentially, each dog has a different amount of exercise that they need. And exercise can also get them to interact with more humans. For example, um, some things that you can do, for example, are <clears throat> just play fetch with your dog. I mean, you can, if your dog knows how to swim, you can go to a swimming pool. You can play frisbee. Um, your dog, once again, like the toys, will get bored of doing the exact same exercise every single time. So if you take them on walks, like try to take them on a different route, or if you play frisbee all the time with them, then you can instead play ball. I mean, honestly, it's just a really good way to help your pet be mentally stimulated. You can also form a really strong bond with your pet if you exercise with them and just have a little fun. Let's go and talk about uh, pet toys. So toys basically fulfill your dog's physical and also mental needs. Um, even though today's dogs are typically bred to be your companion, um, some dogs Dogs weren't originally bred to do that. They are originally bred to fulfill a task, such as catch rodents, um, guard people, um, things like that. So your dog needs toys to fulfill those needs. And if you do not have those toys, they will fulfill their needs a different way, by tearing up your furniture and destroying your house. So. If you don't want your dogs destroying your house, I would suggest getting them a couple of toys as proper outlets for their behavior. So toys are essentially one of the best mental stimulators and they keep your pet active. But like children, pets do also get bored. Um, so professionals recommend that you buy six to eight toys so that way you can switch them out sporadically and so that way they don't get bored with their toys and they don't start seeking your furniture as their next one. Um, toys, rotating toys is a very effective way to keep your dogs from 
biting and chewing everything up. The main purpose of this video is to raise awareness about animal methylation because you don't honestly hear it that often because I guess some people are inferring that it's already been talked about or everyone should already know about it but some people don't hear about it and they don't know the proper ways to take care of their pets so they neglect them and they become bored and start tearing up things. Also for those who are in shelters I've been talking about pets who are at home more frequently so in the shelter they act out by like barking getting aggressive towards other animals when all they really need is a toy and then they become more adoptable so I hope you are helped out from the information that this video has provided and thank you for watching more information about how to make these pet toys are on my YouTube channel and more information on other topics about things that pets may need is also there. Uh, thank you for hearing this. Uh, bye.